How's it going, Hale Ray? This is Joe. And I'm Jordan. Got some college visits today. Got Johnson State College at 9 a.m., University of St. Joseph at 12.30, and Southern Connecticut State University at 1.30. Any student interested in joining FBLA and attending the National Leadership Conference in November in Washington, D.C., please see Mrs. Corey as soon as possible. $120 is required to reserve flights and is due by Friday, September 26th. Uh, if you're interested in student council, there'll be a meeting today right after school in the library. Uh, being discussed will be the October Spirit Weeks and the Homecoming Dance. If you have any questions, you can see Ms. Trincali. Now we're going to toss it to Big Sean. Thanks, Joe. All captains, please return permission slips to Mr. Ritzek ASAP if you plan on attending next week's captains conference. Today's weather, it's going to rain all day. Um, for lunch, barbecue chicken with mac and cheese or Philly cheesesteak melt. Back to Joe and Jordan with sports. Thanks, Big Sean. In boys' soccer action on Tuesday, Hellray beat Cromwell by a score of 2-1 to one in a thrilling conference matchup. Big Daddy and Maddie Vack each scored in the second half to propel Hellray to victory. Uh, with cross country, we had the Shoreline Small Schools meet the other day. The girls finished in fifth place, led by Everest Peacock, who won the race with a time of 19.54. And the boys' team finished second, led by Thomas, who finished the race with a time of 17.17. Uh, Matt Tung finished sixth in the race with a time of 17.45. And Jake Landing finished seventh with a time of 17.57. And the freshman trio of Matt McPherson, Connor Egan, and Ryan Brownell finished 15th, 18th, and 19th, respectively. Uh, today, there will be a girls' volleyball game at home. And our fun fact is that France was still executing people with the guillotine when the first Star Wars film came out. Well, Joe, don't lose your head about it. Rock on, Hail Ray.